This is a magna pinna squid, more specifically a baby magna pinna squid. And every time you go into the ocean, it is in there with you. This creature is no small fry. It can grow up to 26 feet long. And it is out there, swimming in the ocean depths, maybe even nearby when you take a dip in the sea. But here's the strange thing. We've barely caught this giant on camera. With just a few glimpses since 2015, it's like it's playing hide and seek with the whole world. This sneaky squid gets us thinking. If we can miss something so huge, what else might be lurking beneath the waves? You might have heard eerie tales of the Kraken, a beast so big that sailors once believed it was an island. It sounds like a tall tale from an old pirate story, doesn't it? It could not possibly be real, right? Well, we've gathered the clues, researched the stories and looked into the depths. And we've come to believe that the Kraken is not a mythical creature and might still be out there today, hiding in plain sight. And so will you by the end of this video. In the vast and mysterious waters between Norway and Iceland, legends of a colossal sea monster have captivated the imagination for centuries. This creature, known as the Kraken, has been a subject of sailors' superstitions and mythos. The Kraken's first recorded description in modern times comes from Italian writer Francesco Negri in 1700, who depicted it as a massive, many-horned or many-armed fish. Following this, in 1734, Dano-Norwegian missionary Hans Egede provided a detailed account comparing the Kraken to the mythical Hafgufa. Norwegian Bishop Pontopidan in 1753 further ignited interest in the Kraken. He described it as a gigantic octopus known for its ability to pull down ships. His description led to widespread fascination, especially in the English-speaking world. According to Norwegian law, the Kraken was a massive creature, many miles in length, with multiple heads and claws. It was feared for its ability to capture ships, men, and marine life, dragging them into the ocean's depths. It was believed that the Kraken fed intensively for months, followed by a period of releasing a thick cloud into the water. Some later speculated that this could have been ink discharge from the giant cephalopod. These early accounts of the Kraken, blending myth and observation, have left an enduring legacy in maritime folklore. But how much truth might lie in these ancient tales? Could such a creature exist, lurking in the unseen depths of our oceans? To understand the possibility of the Kraken's existence, we delve into eco-geographical principles. One key concept is Bergman's rule. Bergman's rule states that animals tend to increase in size with a decrease in temperature. This is due to the relationship between an animal's size and its ability to retain heat in colder climates. Essentially, larger animals have a lower surface area to volume ratio, allowing them to conserve more body heat. Expanding on Bergman's rule with a real-world example, we look to the polar bear. Adult polar bears can weigh 660 to 1760 pounds, far exceeding their relatives in warmer regions, like the American black bear, which averages between 300 to 800 pounds. This vast size difference is an adaptation to the Arctic's freezing temperatures, as larger bodies lose less heat, having a smaller surface area relative to their volume. Now let's consider Kleiber's rule another eco-geographical principle that might explain the Kraken's legendary size. This rule states that larger animals are more energy efficient, requiring less food per unit of weight. This means creatures in very harsh environments have an environmental pressure to grow bigger. Kleiber's rule, paired with Bergman's, suggests a tendency toward gigantism in extreme environments, these rules imply that in the deep sea, where resources are scarce and temperatures plummet, larger animals may dominate due to their energy efficiency and heat retention abilities. Deep sea gigantism is the increase in size of deep sea dwellers compared to their shallower water relatives. For instance, the giant isopod, 
a deep sea crustacean, can grow up to almost 12 inches long, far surpassing its terrestrial equivalent, the common pill bug, which is typically no larger than 1.2 inches. Another example that stands out when looking at deep sea giantism is the Japanese spider crab. Its leg span reaches up to 12 feet, a stark contrast to the modest three inch span of a common shore crab. This immense size difference highlights the profound impact of deep sea conditions on the growth of marine life. Kleiber's and Bergman's rules hint that if the kraken were real, it would likely dwell in the deep sea. And that's exactly how the next specimens appear, the giant and colossal squids. The giant and colossal squids may be the creatures that have inspired kraken legends. These enigmatic beings dwelling in the ocean's depths have long been shrouded in mystery. The giant squids, Architeuthis ducks and the colossal squid, Mesonicotuthis hamiltoni are among the largest living invertebrates. With lengths exceeding that of a London bus, these squids are elusive giants of the deep. It wasn't until 2004 that the first photo of a live giant squid was captured. The colossal squid remains even more elusive, with little confirmed sightings in its natural habitat, blurring the line between reality and legend. Giant squids inhabit depths between 200 and 1,000 meters, possibly deeper. Their survival is linked to the ocean's temperature and oxygen levels. Solitary hunters, they are known for their aggressive nature, feeding on deep sea fish and other squids. Interestingly enough, indirect proof of the giant and colossal squids could have been visible for a while in sperm whales. Sperm whales sometimes try to eat these squids and are often left with the scars left by the squid tentacles in their bodies. While both species are large cephalopods, they are distinct, belonging to different squid families. The colossal squid's large body and shorter limbs suggest a different hunting strategy, likely ambushing prey in the nutrient-scarce southern ocean. But how can they support such sizes? What and how much must these giants eat? This is where things get interesting. A 2010 study about the metabolic rate of giant squids, named Slow Pace of Life of the Antarctic Colossal Squid, suggests that a 1,000-pound squid would probably only need 45 calories per day, or about 11 ounces of prey per day. That's less than two teaspoons of peanut butter. Many factors come into this, but the main one being the very slow metabolism of the creatures. This means they are probably not a high-speed, voracious predator. But as the paper states, an ambush or sit-and-float predator that uses the hooks on its arms and tentacles to ensnare prey that unwittingly approach. These magnificent creatures, with their enigmatic nature and immense size, may well have fueled the legendary tales of the Kraken. As we slowly unveil their secrets, the line between myth and reality continues to blur. Given all that, what can we predict the Kraken would be like? This isn't just your average sea creature. We're talking about an entity that rivals the tales of old, a being that could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the mightiest whales in the deep. As formidable as they are, even sperm whales might give the Kraken a run for his money. It's possible that these behemoths have driven the Kraken to the darkest depths, where the cold is bone-chilling and the darkness is complete. This, in turn, promoted their growth due to deep-sea giantism, making them bigger and bigger over time. Like its octopus relatives, the Kraken could be a master of camouflage blending into its environment with a kaleidoscope of colors. This ability would make it nearly invisible to the untrained eye, a ghost in the water. Finally, imagine this, a creature that doesn't need to eat daily, conserving its energy in the cold depths. It could spend most of its time resting, only emerging from the shadows when hunger calls. This aligns with the sparse sightings and the old seafarer's tales of its epic feasts. And this also means that he could be out there right now, just waiting, conserving its energy 
for the next big feast. So why haven't we seen this giant kraken on TV or the internet? Why does it seem like just a secret whisper or a ghost in the ocean? We didn't see giant squids or big fin squids until we made machines that could handle the super deep pressure. And that was in the last 10 to 20 years. And guess what? We've only mapped about 20% of the ocean's bottom. It's a huge, wild place we know almost nothing about. Furthermore, as we said before, it might have the ability to camouflage by changing colors. Because of this talent, there's a chance we've already captured the Kraken on camera without even knowing it. It might have been right there, disguised as a rock or hugging the side of an underwater cliff invisible to our eyes. So perhaps we've been looking right at it, yet we've seen nothing. It could be hiding in plain sight. A giant phantom of the depths, waiting for the perfect moment to reveal itself, living its secret life away from our world. This is why the Kraken, a giant sea monster from old stories, might just be real and hiding in the deep ocean. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more documentary style videos.